going to be doing a grapevine wreath with a bee theme. So I've been wanting to do one of these oval grapevine wreaths and so we're going to do one today. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to get panned down and we'll get started. So I have this wonderful oval grapevine wreath and these are a lot of fun to work with. So I thought I would show you an idea of what you can do with one of these today. I have an awesome bee sign and what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the center. We're going to make a really big bow for the bottom and for the top and then we're going to put just a little bit of greenery and a little kind of delicate flowers around the bow. So this is really easy to make and it's a lot of fun. So we are going to make the bow with the Pro Bow. Okay? So I have several different ribbons. This is my main ribbon. I love this. It has little bees on it and it has almost like a piano tile effect along the edge. And the Pro Bow comes with this lovely little spool holder. I have a nice one and a half inch with yellow and black polka dots. I have some black paisley that's one and a half inch. Whoops, I'm this over. And I have some black with the little polka dots in it. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with getting our wires ready. So I'm going to use some 26 gauge wire. I'm going to cut one piece at about 30 inches. I always cut more than I need, but it's better to have too much and than not enough. Okay, I'm going to cut the second piece. at about 32 inches. Okay. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your longest piece, fold it in half, okay, and you're going to use that first. So set it right there. You're going to take your second piece, you want to fold it in half as well, and we're going to set it right up here because we're going to be using that in a minute. Now, you want to take your first piece, which I'm going to use this one and a half inch yellow, and I want to figure out my tail. I want the tail to actually be longer than the butt word, so I'm going to pinch it just like this. I'm going to take this longest wire, and I am going to put that pinch right where I found the center. And then I'm just going to twist it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to secure my bow to the Pro Bow. So you go to the peg, this first little finger, okay? And you don't want to be at the bottom. You want to be about halfway up. And you load one wire on the top, okay? One wire on the bottom. So there is a little nail down here at the bottom. Okay, and then you just slide that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to be using it on C, which means that the longest piece, I think, is like a six inch bow. Yes. But this is the top of the bow, this is the back of the bow. So I like to use this middle piece. You don't have to. You can do this bow without the middle piece. But you, what you want to do is go around your first finger, okay? Come back and pinch your ribbon right here when you get back to this main finger. Now this is where the second piece comes in. So you want to run the second piece behind that first piece 
and slip it right behind the finger, okay? And what you're doing is you're keeping these two, you're essentially tying this little bow part together. You want to keep one part up and one part down. The reason that you're doing this is because this is going to secure each bow as you're working on it. This first one goes around all of the loops together. So this one, absolutely essential, you have to have it. The second one is really more of a convenience, but trust me, you'll want it. Okay, so once you get that first part done, you want to twist it, and you can take this piece and move it out of the way. So you always want to twist it so you can get that pretty side up. Go around your next loop, pinch and twist. So this is very much like making a bow by hand, except that these pegs are holding it instead of your hands. So then you twist it when you get back to the center, just like that. Okay, so this is all I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to go up and down, and it's going to hold this in place. Okay, and then this I'm going to cut, and I'm going to move it out of the way. Okay. So the reason I move these up here is because it just keeps them out of my way and it's going to make it a little bit easier to arrange the tails when we're done. So we're done with this one. So we can just set it aside. I want to do the next one and a half inch. Okay, so I'm going to start it off by pinching where I want to start it and go up and down with that wire. Go around my first peg, go back to the center, move that out, pinch it, twist it, second peg, back to the center, pinch, twist. There we go. So we're going to do two. So center, pinch, twist back to the center. So pinch and twist it and then you can go up and down with this. You see what that does is that holds it in place. Okay, so cut that one off. Push that ribbon up there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this one. So this is, okay, so this is the main part of our bow. This is the part that I really want to be seen. So I am going to load that on next. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it. We're going to load it on the same way. Go up and down just like this. Okay, so once we get it loaded on, we're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to go around that first finger pinch and twist, go around the second finger, pinch and twist, next one, pinch and twist, next one, twist. Sorry about Bella. Okay. Pinch and twist. All right. And so that's our last loop. Okay. So come back, pinch, twist, and then we take our wire and go up and down, just like that. Now we can trim this off. Okay. 
So now this part of the bow is done. So you can pull this wire at the bottom back out. Okay, and pull the top one out. Here. See why you need this one. It goes around. I'm going to show you. So it started at the beginning and it goes around all of those loops. Okay? So what I like to do is take one of the second wire and the first wire together and twist them one good time before I take the bow off. Okay, so then you can just put your hand under and just kind of push it up and get it out. Now what you want to do is you want to hold your wires. You see if I pull it tight there's a lot of play in there. So you want to get that super tight. So I just pull it like that and then twist nice and tight. Alright, so the reason you're doing that is because you don't want this to come loose later. Now, what you can do, I'm going to get out my fluff box and we're going to fluff this up. So we're done with this. Okay, so I got my fluff box out. I'm just going to take this and the fluff box has a little hook on it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wire and slip it in that hook and then it has a nail right here. No. It has a nail right here and I'm just gonna tie it around just like that. Okay. Okay, so once I get it put on, then I will just spread out my ribbon and fluff it up. Okay. So you can just move it around. That's the great thing about this is it will hold it still while you move your bow around. And then I will just take these and cut that nice little detail in it just to give it a finished look. So just fold over, cut away from yourself. Always remember to cut away from yourself because if you don't you'll end up with a funny cut. Okay. So you can also move your little streamers around. All right, and then just stick your fingers in and fluff it up. Just like that. There we go. So we got our first bow made. So I'll take this off. This is gonna be the bow for the top. Okay, so we're gonna Pull the pro bow back out and we're going to make our second bow. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten our first bow ready. So now we can move on and do our second bow. So I'll bring the pro bow back. And this one is going to be for the bottom. <coughs> so once again, we have to take our wires and pull them out. Okay. We'll do one at 32. Find the center. And one at 30. There we go. So the longer one you use first 
and the shorter one you use second. All right. So I'm going to start off with this yellow with the polka dots again. And this time I'm going to make my tail uh, about 20 inches. Okay, so I'm going to pinch it in the center, take the bigger wire, and secure this down to the wire. Okay, and then I'm going to secure it to this finger. So put one side on the top and one on the bottom, and just move this out of the way. Okay? Then I go to my center peg, take my second wire, and I'm running it behind the first wire and this peg. And what that allows me to do is to secure this loop. Just like that. Now all you need to do is go up and down. Okay. Then do your second loop, come back to the center, pinch and twist, do that loop, back to the center, pinch and twist. Then I'm going to secure that going up and down one time, and then I'm going to measure out 20 inches of this one. Okay. I'm going to stick this up here. So I'm doing it longer because it's going to be at the bottom. Okay, so we're done with this one. Alright. We're going to do this one again. So. 20 inches, tie it on just by going up and down, let's see if I can turn this a little bit, alright, then go around to your first loop, back to the center, pinch, twist, Around the second, back to the center, pinch twist. Third one, pinch twist. And there we go. That's all we're going to do with this one. So pinch twist and tie it off going up and down. And then measure out. Measure out 20 inches and push it aside. Okay. Now we're going to do our B again. So, there we go. We're just tying it on. going to do three of this one. So pinch twist in the center. Go around your finger. Back to the center. Pinch twist. Back to the center. Pinch it. Twist it. Again, pinch twist. Last time, pinch twist. Back to the center. 
Now you do have to pinch and twist it one more time for that ribbon streamer. And then we go up and down. All right, now let's get our tail of that one. All right, now I'm going to pop this off. Make sure you get your top and bottom unwound. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to set this down right for a second. And then, so we're done with the Provo, so we can move it aside. Okay. Now, I want to put a couple more loops in the back. One more loop in the back. So I'm going to just do this one by hand. So I've just measured out my 20. Okay. I want my loops to be let's see what this is. About 7 inches. So And then another 20 inches. Okay. And I'm just going to put this right down in the back. Then I'm going to tie it on. So I'll take my wires together. And then I will pull them really tight and then tie them off. Okay. I just wanted a little bit more background for this bottom bow. So I just added an extra loop on. All right, so we can move all of our ribbons away. I'm just going to start fluffing. Okay. Just pulling these apart. Like this. get them pulled apart you just want to fluff them up okay there we go all right Now we can just take it off of our fluff box. Okay. And put the fluff box away. All right. Now we can bring our great 
on back. Okay. I'm going to start with the bottom one. So I'm just going to tie it on. Right on the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to use the wire to tie around it. Okay, and then I will make sure that my bow is still spread apart. And you want to have all of your tails coming down in the front. Just have to move it around a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now. Fluff them back up. There we go. All right. Now we're going to deal with all these tails. In just a few minutes but right now I want to get the other side loaded all right so we've got the one for the top so I just separate my wires And then just make sure that this one is still fluffed out as well. Okay. Here we go. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is get the sign on. So what I'm going to use for the sign are these zip tie cable mounts. So I'm just going to get four zip tie cable mounts out. I am not going to use this string that's on here, so I'll just cut that off. Now these need a little bit of glue on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my pipe cleaner right in the spot that it fits in. There. And I'm just going to dip it right in my glue. Okay, and then put it on the side. You can also use a stick and do this. You could also use your hot glue gun. You don't need a ton on there. Okay. So 
So just stick in the pipe cleaner right through it. Just dip it very lightly to my glue. Place it on there. So the reason I'm doing that is because this is a spring and summertime wreath and when it gets really hot these mounts can come loose. So you don't want your sign to come loose later. And I just give this a little minute. Okay. And then I like to twist. Okay. Alright, then I like to twist these on. Once I'm sure they're on there and they're not moving anymore, then I will take this and I am going to angle it a little bit like this. And then I'm just going to run these right through my grapevine. Do that at all four points. So. You should be able to run it right through your grapevine. Tie it on. And what you can do is come back and just glue a little leaf right over these spots to cover where you tied it. Okay. So, get this side. So when you're picking out grapevine wreaths, you want to make sure that you get them so that they are not so tight that you cannot put things into them. So you always want to just kind of look at it and feel it and see how tight it is. Because that will make a difference if you're going to be putting things on it. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got our sign on. Get our bows on. Okay. All right, now we can just add in some little flowers and some greenery. So I'm just going to cut these off. You can get cute little bushes like this at Hobby Lobby. There we go. Right, and what I will do is just kind of put them in there and see how I want it to look. And then once I've figured out how I want it to look, then I will come back and glue them in. So, it's a really good idea to do this because once you glue them in, it's really hard to move them around. Okay. Let's see. 
You can also move your leaves up a little bit. Okay. So I don't want anything to cover my sign, so I'll be careful not to get it so that it would interfere with my sign. Okay. A little bit more over here. need a whole lot you just want a little you know to kind of give it a little bit more interest you can add in things like little bees I have some little bees so and I want these bees to look like they're moving so I will kind of have them standing out like this okay There. I love to put stuff like this in here. This is coral grass. See how that's looking? All right. I love to use these palm leaves, especially since you can cut them up. So, like I can use just this little part and put it behind my bow here. really great to put things in and around your bow because it helps your bow become part of your wreath makes it gives it more natural elements Stick a little bit of greenery in between in my bow. Okay. A little bit more up here. Like that. Daisies are always a really great thing to put with something like this.
There's also a butterfly in this, and we could put this up here like it's landing on the bow. Let's see if we can get it in here. Yeah. Yeah. So we can have some daisies up here. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what you can do with this ribbon at the bottom, you can either just let it hang like this, and you can cut it at an angle, or you can take it with your finger and just curl it up like that. You can curl it at different lengths. That really elongates it and helps give it even more interest. There we go. All right. So see, that's the bottom with the curls on it. All right, so let me lift this up. All right, there we go. Kind of hard to get the whole thing in, but I will be putting a picture up here on this. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And it gives you an idea of something you can do with one of these oval grapevines. I think these are a lot of fun to do. So, very versatile what you could do with these. All right, well, I will be back soon with some others. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye bye.